Hi everybody. So this week we're going to write the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. So I'm going to be doing some sentences and seeing if you can improve them today. So let's take a look. So we're going to start with the beginning of the story. We're not going to write it all today. We're just going to look at the beginning. So have a little think. What happened at the beginning of the story? How does the story start? And what does Jack's mum ask him to do? Pause the video and have a little think. Yeah, so the beginning of the story, wasn't it, about where they were poor and mum had asked him to sell the cow because they needed some money. But Jack came back with some magic beans. Mm, let's see. So, can you start your opening sentence off with once upon a time? Because that's how the story starts, isn't it? Okay, it's a fairy tale. So can you start your sentence, you just need to write one sentence, the very first sentence of your story, once upon a time. How are you going to finish it? Pause the video, off you go. I finish my sentence by saying, once upon a time, there was a poor little boy called Jack. I wonder what your sentence is. When we finish the story, don't forget to send it on tapestry because you might have used some of the same words as mine, but you might have used different and it'll be lovely to see all the different types of stories. Let's look at the next sentence then. He lived in a hmm, something cottage. Can you write the sentence and describe the cottage? Maybe you could even extend the sentence further. Who did he live with and where? Pause the video and write the next sentence. So my sentence is, he lived in a tiny pokey cottage with his beloved mother in the middle of a huge scary forest. Wonder what description word you used. Again, I can't wait to see your work. So here I've used a very short, simple sentence. They were very poor. Can you use a conjunction and also but because to extend their sen this sentence? They were very poor and then continue it on. So copy that part out and see if you can extend the sentence for me. Off you go. So I've written, they were very poor, so they had to sell all of their possessions to make a living for food. Next sentence then. Can we finish this sentence? Jack met a something man. So I want you to write this out and describe the man and then see if you can extend it. So what type of man did he meet? And then what happened? Pause the video, off you go. On his way to town, Jack met a strange old man who had some magic beans to sell. That was my sentence. What did Jack ask the strange old man? What can the question can you think of? Pause the video and see if you can have a little think. I've chosen, can I please buy some of your magic beans? Maybe you can think of a different one. Pause the video and have a go. What about this one then? How does the man reply to Jack? Is he able to have some of the magic beans? Beans will bring you lots of good fortune. So can you copy that sentence out and finish it with a conjunction? Remember, a conjunction is and so, but because, and it extends our sentence further. Pause the video, off you go. Here's my extended sentence, and I've ended it with an exclamation phrase. The beans will bring you lots of good fortune because they are magic and will make you lots of money. Trust me. And then what did Jack do with the magic beans? I've put Jack was a little unsure. Can you extend my sentence using a conjunction? Jack was a little unsure. Pause the video, have a go. Jack was a little unsure, but in the end, he swapped the cow for the fine looking magic beans. So I've used a noun phrase, haven't I, okay, to describe the beans. I've said fine looking magic beans. I wonder if you've used a noun phrase in yours today. So don't forget to send your work on tapestry. It'll be lovely to see what type of sentences you've done. See you later.